Hey guys, Norm McGregor for Our Island Adventure on the Isles of Haida Gwaii. Alright, beautiful day here. It's sunny, clear. Um, there is actually a, quite a little breeze happening. And uh, my neighbor stopped by and said, Hey, it's uh, windy. How come your wind turbine isn't working? Well, the wind turbine isn't working because the solar panels are producing enough power to keep the batteries charged, even though I'm running everything. And uh, the wind turbine will shut off by itself. So let me show you how it works. Okay, I don't know if this is going to show or not. But if you look right behind the pole, you can see a little hole in the middle of the turbine. Well, in there, there's a little red light. And what it's doing is it's blinking. I don't know if it's going to show in the video or not. But anyways, <clears throat> what that indicates is that it is receiving uh, a full charge message from the batteries. So what the wind turbine has done is initiated its own active brake to prevent uh, it from wearing out. So let's go in and take a look at the meter and see what's happening. Okay, so we're in the power shed. Uh, I've got a YouTube video happening. I'm recharging uh, my weed whacker. I've got all kinds of stuff. My solar lawnmower. Everything's like everything. I'm back feeding into the house, so everything's working. Okay. Uh, let's take a look and see. Okay, so our battery level, according to this meter, we're at zero. We got zero wind power happening. We've generated. 2 amp powers overnight. The battery level is 13.3 volts. We're getting 11.9, uh, 11.8, 11.9 amps of solar coming in for 555 amp hours today. So we're getting lots of power from the solar and unfortunately the solar is overriding the wind turbine because they're on the same bank and that's why the wind turbine isn't working. Just a way to uh, not wear out the wind turbine unnecessarily. All right, guys, Norm McGregor on the island of Haida Gwaii, and that's why the wind turbine isn't spinning while it's windy.